What is going on college basketball fans? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to fill out our NIT tournament bracket. Last year the NIT was really fun where I'm pretty sure three, uh, what was it, Conference USA teams last year made it to the final four of the NIT. It was North Texas, uh, it was UAB, and um, it was one other team. I just, for some reason I'm blanking on it, but it was an insane tournament where North Texas ended up winning it all and I'm very excited for the NIT this year I feel like there were a lot of snubs in this year's NCAA tournament that include like Oklahoma St. John's Indiana State that I'm excited to watch in the NIT so without further ado let's get into this bracket so I couldn't really find a fillable bracket so we're gonna have to type them out that's all good. We have Seton Hall as a number one seed here. They're going up against St. Joseph's. Now, St. Joseph's is no slouch. I could for sure see them out of the A-10 winning this game, but I am going to go with Seton Hall to get this one done. I, I love Kadari Richmond. I think that he is going to be enough here to get this one done. Give me Seton Hall in that one. Next up, we do have... Uh, our next matchup is LSU versus North Texas. Now, North Texas, I don't know if they're, they're definitely not as good as last year. They don't have Grant McCasland as the head coach anymore. I think LSU is decent. I just don't really like that four line in the NIT very much. I think whoever wins this game is probably going to lose to Seton Hall, but I will go with LSU to win that game. Next up, we do have Providence. We have Boston College. That's a fun matchup. Um, I like Providence a lot. If Devin Carter, Adoro, Joshua Adoro are playing for Providence, I kind of like them to go decently far. I like them in this matchup a lot. Give me the Friars in that one. Next up, we have Princeton versus UNLV. And UNLV is a sleeper. Princeton is a sleeper. I could see either one of these two teams going decently far in this. And I have to go with UNLV. I think that they are such a good team. They played so good in the Mountain West this year. And we saw the Mountain West got six bids in the NCAA tournament this year. And UNLV was right there, man. Uh... They were starting to play really, really good. If they would have had a better non-con, I think that they probably would have made the NCAA tournament this year. Wake Forest versus App State. I think I'm going to go with the upset here. I do like Wake Forest, but I don't think that they're like super unbeatable. We saw they lost to like not so great teams in the ACC that really took them out of contention for the NCAA tournament. And App State is a team that you know, had close to 30 wins this season. And I think that that is definitely a very possible upset. App State is very good. I'm going to pick them to win that matchup. Xavier versus Georgia. That is just a disgusting matchup. Some of these four line matchups, I just really don't like. Um, but we do have Georgia. We do have Xavier. And I'm going to go ahead and pick, I guess, Xavier. I just really don't trust Georgia at all to get a win there even in the NIT so give me Xavier to win that one Virginia Tech versus Richmond Ugh. battle of Virginia I guess that is kind of interesting right I'm gonna go with Richmond I'm gonna go with Richmond they're another really good team out of the A-10 they actually won the A-10 regular season over teams like uh, Dayton Loyola Chicago VCU Richmond very good this year very good Ohio State versus Cornell Cornell is not a bad team, but I like Ohio State in this matchup. They've been getting hot at the right time. I am going to pick the Buckeyes in that one. Next up, we have Indiana State versus SMU. Give me Indiana State. Robbie Avila. We got robbed of him in the tournament, but I think a guy like DJ Burns Jr. provides like a similar, um, very fun player character in March Madness just like a big guy that is just super entertaining love DJ Burns at NC State but I also like Robbie Avila a lot he is going to go ham in the NIT this year Butler versus Minnesota that's a fire four line matchup right there that's probably the best four line matchup we have in this um 
I'm going to go with Minnesota. I'm going to go with Minnesota here to move on. How about the Gophers getting a win um, in a basketball tournament? How about that? Next up, Bradley versus Loyola Chicago. Woo! Missouri Valley versus A-10. That's going to be fun. Loyola Chicago playing their former conference. I like Loyola Chicago in this, I think. But I might pick actually the slight upset. I'm going to go with Bradley. It's been Bradley, Indiana State, and... Uh, Drake this year in the Missouri Valley they've all three been solid Bradley's just been clearly that third best team and I think they get a little bit of I guess you can say revenge on Loyola Chicago leaving that league a fun little storyline there Cincinnati versus San Francisco I'm gonna go with Cincy to beat them in that one I just think they've been playing the Big 12 all year long they're excited to play some other teams give me Cincinnati to move on there next up we have Villanova versus VCU and VCU, a very gritty defensive team. I think it could actually be kind of a tough matchup for Villanova. So I'm going to pick VCU there in the upset. Um, Villanova, I just don't trust them. They lost the teams like Penn this year, like St. Joseph's, who's another team that's on that same line as VCU. And I think like VCU's defense could get them a win here in this. So I'm going to go with them. Next up, Central Florida versus South Florida. This isn't close to me. This is a very good, you know, old rivalry game that was in the American before Central Florida left. And similar to Bradley Loyola Chicago going against a former uh, conference member and a rival in South Florida versus Central Florida. I love that matchup for the NIT. I love that they put that together. I think South Florida clearly the better team. Iowa versus Kansas State. That is a fun matchup. If Tyler Perry is playing... If Arthur Kaluma is playing, give me K-State. I mean, Tyler Perry literally won this tournament last year with North Texas, and now he's on Kansas State. Can he do it again? I think that he's primed to go far. Next up, we do have uh, Utah versus UC Irvine. And, ooh, that's actually a pretty good matchup. I'm going to go with Utah, though. I think Utah could win that. How about them Utes? One team I'm surprised to not see in the NIT is Memphis. I wanted to see like a good Memphis K-State game, Naquan Tomlin revenge game. That would have been very fun to see. Um, but moving on, we got Seton Hall versus LSU. Um, I'm going to go with Seton Hall. I don't really trust LSU, and I think Seton Hall has a easier path to uh, this like semifinal game here. Um, I, I just don't really like LSU or North Texas a lot this year. Providence or UNLV? I'm going to go with Providence. I'm going to have two Big East teams in this semifinal. I just think that they are the two better teams in this region. Um, so we're going to get to see these two teams go at it once again for a chance at the Final Four of the NIT. App State versus Xavier. I'm going to have App State keep on pushing to the semis. Or I guess to the quarters, technically. I don't know why it's calling it semis. I guess the semis of the region. Richmond versus Ohio State. I'm going to have Ohio State keep on dancing. I think that they've been hot lately. Um, ever since they fired their coach, they've been playing on another level. Give me Ohio State there in that one. Next up, we do have uh, Indiana State versus Minnesota. Give me Indiana State in that one. I like the Sycamores to go on a little bit of a run here. Um, such a good team. Such a good team. I think that they were actually the first ever team in the top 30 of the net to not get a bid to the NCAA tournament this year. So, yeah, much deserving of a one seed in the NIT. Bradley versus Cincinnati. Let's go with Bradley. Let's have another interconference game in the quarterfinals of this NIT. Two teams from the Missouri Valley. Let's get it. Next up, we have uh, VCU versus South Florida. I'm going to go with South Florida here in this one. I think that they are such a good team. They're another team that I think could have should have been considered for an at-large bid in the NCAA tournament. Didn't get it. So good. Um, as a team, I think South Florida could definitely go far in this. Next up, we do have Kansas State versus Utah. I'm going to go with Kansas State here in this one. 
Um, I think they are a much better team than the uh, Utah, to be honest, uh, all around. I think Tyler Perry, he's gonna he he did a lot of damage in this tournament last year. I think that they could do it again. Next up, Seton Hall versus Providence. One of these Big East teams got to go, and I think I'm actually gonna go with. Man, you know, if Devin Carter, Adoro are playing, I'm going to go with Providence. I'm going to go with Providence to keep on going, and they are in the final four of the NIT this year. Let's get it. And then I am going to go with Ohio State to defeat App State and end their run that they have been going on, and they make it to the final four. Then we got Indiana State versus Bradley. We've seen this matchup a couple of times this year. Indiana State has dominated it. They're always close games, though. They are always close games, but Bradley could do it. But I'm going to go with Indiana State to keep on moving. And then South Florida versus Kansas State. I'm going to keep riding with South Florida to get it done and make it to the NIT Final Four. So this is the NIT Final Four. We have Providence, we have Ohio State, we have South Florida, and we do have Indiana State. So I think a pretty solid Final Four. Um, the NIT is actually looking to be a pretty fun tournament this year. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. So Providence versus Ohio State is a very, very fun matchup. I am going to have Providence win this one. I think, you know, Devin Carter is such a difference maker out there. I think Kim English is a great head coach. I like Providence there in that matchup. Indiana State versus South Florida is two of the better mid-majors that I think both should have been considered for at-larges in the NCAA tournament. I don't know who I want to go with here, to be honest. I'm kind of torn. Oh, I'm going to go with Indiana State. I'm going to go with Indiana State. I just think they're so good. Like I mentioned earlier, they were like 27th or 28th in the net rankings. The highest ever team ranked in the net to not make the NCAA tournament. I think it's a shame they didn't get in. So good. They were just a couple possessions from getting an automatic bid over Drake and winning the Missouri Valley tournament. I think that they should have gotten that large bid. And they would have if there hasn't been so many bid steals like Oregon, uh, NC State, Duquesne to to make the tournament. So uh, UAB, so many bid steals. If those didn't happen, Indiana State would have been in the tournament. And, I, and for those reasons, I, I'm going to have Indiana State go ahead and win the entire NIT tournament this year. I think they're super good, super underrated. And, yeah, this is going to be a fun NIT. I'm excited for it. Devin Carter, Robbie Avila in the NIT championship. Grab your popcorn. That is going to be fun. So let me know what you guys think about my picks. Let me know who you guys have in your NIT championship game and winning it all. And, yeah, guys, subscribe for more college basketball content. I'm out.